Hello students, this is Dr. Obsidia. Today I'm going to be playing a game called XCOM. This is XCOM 1 with the expansion Enemy Within. The original is called Enemy Unknown. And I'm going to be using a mod called Long War, uh, which makes the game quite a bit harder, but also adds a lot of different features to it. Uh, it's quite a good mod. It is very difficult. There is an XCOM 2 that is out, it's been out for quite a while, and it does have its expansions and some DLC. This game, uh, the original one, is a turn-based strategy game, and it involves an alien invasion of Earth, and the Earth's attempt to defend against that invasion with their elite uh, units called XCOM, their elite um, Earth defense team. The XCOM 2 assumes uh, the storyline in the storyline to actually lose the war in XCOM 1 so with long war it's quite hard to win and I fully assume I'm gonna lose this game so <laughs> I'm going to play XCOM enemy within long war and lose in order to lead into the XCOM 2 so uh, let's get started here first of all uh, I'm gonna be playing a normal difficulty uh, because uh, it's been a while since I played the advanced options we're going to enable Iron Man because once we lose we'll just move on to XCOM 2. Second wave options let's go with uh, damage roulette, new economy, hidden potential is kind of fun because it, it randomizes the soldier stats as they level up. Training roulette allows random skill trees a little bit which is nice. Uh, we don't care about save scum, absolute critical red fog is good. Uh, Let's see, yeah, as uh, countries are more panicked, they're going to give you less money, that makes sense. Uh, wear and tear, itchy trigger tentacle, aiming angles so that when you get a better angle on the enemies, you get a higher chance to uh, hit them. Matters choice, hidden trees is kind of good surprises as we come up so it makes it so that when the soldiers are leveling we're not really sure if they're going to be good or not and what they're going to to be so as they level up we'll learn more about them it's kind of fun uh, miracle workers yeah that looks pretty good let's do that of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed.
Good luck, Commander. Okay, so I'm by no means an expert at this game, um, but I have played it quite a few times, so I think I can hold my own a little bit. Uh, and let's see, we're going to pick our country here. Um, United States, Russia, Japan... Germany. And they give you some different options with different starting bonuses and what they mean on the side here. You start out with some money, you get your benefit, and then when you control the whole continent uh, with satellite coverage, um, you will get some extra bonus as well. So, um, flipping through the different places, let's see. Five will. Will is always nice. Receive five ability points for stat rolls upon recruitment. Ah, kind of like that. Foundry projects a little bit cheaper. Let's take a look at what we got here. Hmm. Cheaper foundry products or projects are always a nice thing. Air superiority is good. Um, it is hard to knock the UFOs out of the air in Long War. Just taking a look at the continent bonus first before I go in. Let's see. It's always nice to have more money. Fifty percent reduction in cash alloy and Illyrium required for mech and shiv primary weapons is not a bad choice. And we get a little more money as well. Let's do that. Um, the mech, of course, are mech. Uh, machines that you can build and shivs are little uh, drone uh, robots that you can um, run around with. And they are quite good. Our target site is near the German border. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Okay, so here's my squad of rookies. Coming in to investigate what's going on. This is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Okay. Now you can see they have some different hit points, um, and they're going to have different stats as well. If we bring up, we can see uh, offense, defense. Uh, this um, person here. Uh, we can click through them. This one's actually got a laser sight. And the first time through, um, you know, I'm not too worried about it because I can't pick my squad and I can't deal with them. But we're just going to move them forward and see what we can what we can see. Once you move up, you can tell them to overwatch. If you'd like to uh, watch out for enemies that might come into your view and then you'll take shots at them. Orders confirmed. On the move. Roger that. I'm sure my team would love to get their oh. hands on that thing. Alien life on Earth. We're witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. Now it's the alien's turn. Suppressing. He gave himself a little point there. Mind meld with one of his buddies. The drone took off. Uh -huh. 
we don't have a shot there. I don't think he has much of a shot either. We're pretty far off our engagement at this point, but we will start to run over there and see if we can't cause a little bit of ruckus. Grenade is just out of range. Okay, we can go over here and flank this guy. There we go. The yellow means he's flanked. 64% chance to hit him, so we'll take the shot. There we go. Their weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. Take that shot. Oh well. Take cover behind a gas, uh, a gas station pump. Yeah. Thirty-five chance percent chance to hit. Let's take the shot. Yeah. Nice shoot. And he's suppressed, so we're just gonna put him in Overwatch. Your buddies, hunker down. Here's some reaction fire. Yeah. That uh, team's not that good yet, so we'll give them a break. Oh. Another group showed up. Standing off with the other alien group quite a bit right now, so if we can't get a flanking shot in here since they're not on Overwatch. There we go. Out of the game. Explosive grenade, can we make it inside? Yes we can. Um Are piercing. Bounce it into the window. Boom! I want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. While certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Just something to consider. I'll get them next time. Whoops! Yeah, that's not good. Caught ourselves out in the open a bit here. Aye, aye, Commander. I'm gonna have to fall back. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Let's go over here and take a look. Take the shot. It's a bad shot, and I figured I'd probably miss, but there's always a chance of knocking them out. And they're pretty far away, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh, my guys aren't doing very well with this Overwatch. Oh! Yes, you give what you get. And you get what you give. Oh, well, we have a critically injured person. Now they're overwatching me. Uh, as long as we can finish this mission before that critically injured person bleeds out, uh, we might be okay. We're going to use explosives to see if we can't knock out some of these guys. Let 
we can at least save the injured one. That didn't work. Why are you using all these explosives to Dr. Obsidia? Well, basically I'm thinking that if I don't use explosives, there's going to be too many enemies and I'm going to start losing more people. So rather than just watch everybody suffer and die, we'll even up the numbers a bit and make them more in our favor. High explosive. Finish this guy off here. We can be liberal with the explosives on the first mission anyway. Stabilize them. I think we're just going to try to end the mission as quickly as possible. On my way. Everybody's just going to take shots. And a hit, but not a kill. Bounced off the cover a bit there. I'm on the move. He was standing out in the open. Oh, there's still more out there. Okay. Well, we're pretty spread out at this point. On the move. I'm just gonna have to run over here and save, okay. stabilize our buddy. Hey, they'll just lay there until it's time to bug out. There's a melt canister up on the roof there. Uh, that would be good for my team to go grab. Moving. It might be a risky run, but we're going to see if we can get there. And, and Oh, yep. Oh, right, the drone flew up here. I'd forgotten all about that guy. Well, we're going to run to the meld weekly so we can get it next round. We'll give some other targets for that guy. Dude, they don't hit very hard. He's out of ammo. Okay. Reload. Reload. Expected that to happen. It's all right. We'll take the hit. I think we lost the meld. Yep, it closed. You got to get those. They're on a timer. I'll get them next time. You guys need to sit something. Damn it. Come on now. I'm on the move. Just sending everybody in there, guns blazing, to knock out the last enemy. Hopefully, uh, can finish him before he gets a turn. And of course, everybody's gonna miss these critical shots. Will do. If I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. So we lost one operative, and that's acceptable. It is the first mission, so that's a little bit disappointing. Um, but it's going to happen. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, 
We have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Let's the XCOM base. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. So here, Petro is knocked down and is wounded for 16 days, which is quite long, gravely wounded. And of course they suffer fatigue. This is um, going to happen in Long War. They have a longer fatigue. And uh, you can send them back out. They're not going to be as effective. And uh, we've got a few that are, are gaining their promotions, so... The heavy weapons specialist provides a crucial service to the squad. With the rocket launcher in tow, there are demolitions experts. Um, so here we can pick if we want to give them um, the specialist here. Suppression, which is what they did to us, which locks down an enemy. Uh, they have a aim penalty, and um, it does allow for uh, a reactive fire if they try to move. Or fire a rocket. And of course, select this option gives you a random subclass that doesn't include the two options available. This person is uh, quite fast, we can see, um, 15, is a pretty speedy person here. Health is a little bit lower, aim is okay, nothing uh, special to write home about. A speedy person uh, could get in position and uh, let's go with the rockets. Always nice to blow stuff up. So now she is a rocketeer. Just like it sounds, the support class provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make everyone around them better. Okay, here again, uh, aim is okay. Uh, the speed is pretty good again. A little bit more health, and uh, we got some field medic option here. You carry an extra grenade, allows two destructive grenades in a single slot instead of just one. And they may throw the grenades further, but I think we need a medic. It's always nice to have a medic, so let's take that. To the research labs. And the assault class serves as our front line. They're the first ones into a fight, and the last ones out. So here, not that fast at moving. Um, the health is not so good. It's okay, I guess. Like, it's okay. And the aim is not so great. Um, yeah, let's just go random this time. Why not? Oh, we got another medic. Okay, well, we can't have enough medics, I guess. So we'll take it. They recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Commander to the research labs. Okay, Commander. we're gonna go to the research labs because they keep telling me to go there. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Yeah, we're gonna need some new equipment. That is for sure. Okay, so we're gonna research something. Well, the only thing we can research is alien weapons and it's gonna be slow. Uh, these fragments are all that remain of the powerful alien weaponry we've encountered so far. Further study could lead to advances in our own weapons development programs. More damage means more killing, and that's always a good thing. Commander, I realize our troops have to put their own survival first, but every alien we use explosives against is one less opportunity to recover new artifacts. She hates explosives, and I love them. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. I think if I was in a situation where I was fighting against enemies with a, you know, assault rifle, uh, and I had some grenades, um, and they were, you know, if I was outnumbered, I just feel like I would over, you know, load myself with grenades and explosives, um, rather than ammunition and then when you know they started attacking me because you know you don't have to peek your head up to shoot a gun uh, just to throw a grenade but you do with a gun so when you peek your head out you can get shot so blowing up cover just throwing it in the general area is much better than having to point and shoot so give me an extra grenade uh, rather than an extra clip I think that's just the way I see it of course you're gonna have friends who have extra mags and then you can ask them for one um, 
let's see. Yeah, we can build items here if we like. And they give us the option of building a sawed-off shotgun, which is okay. Motion tracker um, allows us to detect nearby enemies, civilians, and ancient and alien artifacts. That's nice. Of course, the, there's the shiv. The shiv is a super heavy weapon vehicle, SHIV. An advanced weapons platform that can be deployed in place of a human soldier. While extremely capable in most combat scenarios, any damage to the shiv will require lengthy repairs. Um, and of course, we want to put satellites in orbit as well. So I'm gonna build a shiv. They're nice to have. Commander to mission control. And it's gonna take Commander 15 days to, to build control. one. So we're gonna go ahead and start the order. A motion detect motion tracker. Yeah, why not? We'll get one of these as well in production. And shot off shotgun. We're eventually gonna have some kind of sniper. And I always like to give them a sawed-off shotgun. When I play first-person shooters, I always like to have a very powerful handgun with very few bullets. I mean, snipers have good aim, so give them something, you know, for their up-close fight that they can dish out tons of damage. There we go. And we don't have any yet, so I'm not going to have to worry about the order there. And give you our soldiers here, um, and we can see what different kinds of people we have here. This one has a pretty good aim bonus. There's our medic and rocketeer and so on. Um, let's see, we got anybody that's really good. Nah, I mean, not bad. Let's see a few with some, uh, this one has a pretty good defense right here. Aim is pretty good, movement's a little bit slow, but that's okay. Commander to mission control. Roselia is pretty fast. Probably turn her into a scout later. Okay. Every member of the council is going to want satellite coverage. So we should plan our deployments carefully. So here's where you build your satellites. Um, well, you build your satellites and then you launch them. And then as you launch them over different countries, uh, it'll reduce their panic and it'll allow you to get more money. Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. Of course, we can scan for any activity. We have a satellite here, so we're going to detect things there uh, much easier. Uh, of course, you can hire new soldiers as well, um, but it's random their abilities. And we've got quite a few soldiers right now, even though we lost one. So let's go ahead and scan and see what we come up with. So we'll take the shotgun then. Detected. So now we have a UFO contact, and here we see the UFO is a small class. It's unidentified exactly what it is, small size. It's over Germany because we have a satellite, we can see it, uh, and it is flying low. Now when they're flying low, um, if they're flying high, they're probably just passing through, but this one's doing something. And since we're trying to defend Germany and we don't want them to panic, they've got UFOs flying over their heads. We'll see if we can knock it out of the sky with our interceptors. Now i got to be careful. Interceptors uh, in long war can easily be shot down. But here we've got our interceptors and they none of them have had any experience. So we're going to send Raven 1 and we're going to send them in with a balanced attack profile. And this is just a little mini game. We have eyes on the bandit. And we do need to abort if he takes too many hits. And he is fighting a UFO. Oh, and we knocked it down. <laughs> The interceptor shot it down, maybe got a crit or something, or it was just a really weak ship. Surveillance indicates alien crew moving at the crash site. The interceptor sustained heavy damage. So they'll go in for repair. And we did shoot this down. Is 37. We have a confirmed kill on bogey 001. I repeat, the UFO is down. I'll copy, over. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central out. All right, people. Retask Recon Satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. She's coming into range now, sir. On screen. Magnify. Still in one piece. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately.
Okay, and here we can send the Sky Ranger to deal with them, and where we're going to add our team in. And uh, that's where we'll call it for today. Next time we're going to add our team um, and figure out all the ones that we want to send in. Uh, we've got six slots here to put people on. Uh, we may just add all rookies and send them in because the others are going to be resting. As I think they're still resting. Let's take a look here. Um, yeah, they still fatigue, so we're going to be sending in all rookies again. But that's probably okay. It's still one of the first missions, so we're up against pretty weak enemies. And uh, they'll have explosives, so everything will be just fine. All right. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.